inside that vehicle, pulling off to the right here. And it looks like the front right side of that vehicle could be damaged as well, Alex and Marla. Wow, well, yeah. Squeezing through there, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look we, at that, right on the rims. We don't see motorcycle officers involved all that often in these pursuits, so that was kind of an interesting thing to see there. Uh, as we now drive uh, right near the coastline, this is a familiar sight for anybody that's used to that area. And, uh, and we're off. And, and you see the numbered streets, uh, much like a lot of the beach towns have. Pacific Coast Highway, we went from 14th Street down to 10th Street, 1st Street, and now we're at Huntington Street here on PCH, a very picturesque area here of Southern California in Long Beach here. And again, it looks like the motorist is this guy being pursued or gal. We don't know the, uh, the gender of the individual being pursued at this time. Uh, is slowing down. Uh, at the stoplights uh, and, uh, and, and not driving overly recklessly. Uh, he did slide through on the far right shoulder there when he came upon all of that traffic. Uh, but again, CHP pursuing this individual, failure to yield. The driver allegedly was going too fast uh, and they lit him up, lit her up, and they didn't pull over and their pursuit was on. And that's what we're seeing in the CHP. The California Highway Patrol is still the lead agency and typically the CHP monitors all our interstates, our freeways, but they will hop off and continue on if that uh, infraction did occur on the freeway. And we're just getting word that this officially was called in 32 minutes ago at 420. So it's not been going on as long as I had uh, thought ahead of time, but still, nonetheless, 30 minutes plus this pursuit has been underway now that we're picking speeds. Look at that cruiser Ooh, catching wow. up, seemingly uh, going to try to make a move. We'll see. But again, this is way too fast for an attempt in attempted pit maneuver. This all started in Long Beach. And if now you're in just Huntington joining Beach. us. Yeah, now making their way to southbound. Huntington Beach. This is a southbound PCH coming up on this busy intersection. Able to breeze through that one pretty simply there. And it looks like they're almost trying to box maybe. them in or maybe try maybe pit maneuver. Pit. Yeah, Rick. here we go. But he's going really quickly yeah. here. But they can do it. They can try it, especially if there aren't any other vehicles. Yeah, but now a little cat and mouse here. That vehicle's really picking up in speeds, the wow. individual being pursued. 90 miles an hour hour you could see he hit the gas right there when he saw that CHP cruiser getting up uh, close to the, the rear end of his vehicle there this is an undivided stretch I know this heading down south to go surf there are areas now you got the K wall which is good because that's a very dangerous stretch of PCH there are times where there are there is no divider and if there's any type of a situation where that vehicle would meander into oncoming traffic that could be really dangerous yeah, and this is the area of the people that are familiar with it. You keep driving, you're eventually going to hit the, the Huntington Beach Pier, uh, which is obviously a very busy area. Now we're going oh. the wrong way. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, crossing over, that's a red light right there. Ooh. You see the police officer there on the bottom right? That's right. Yep. They are positioning themselves. That's mm -hmm. what they do. They will position, being that this guy or gal, whoever's being pursued, is staying the course on Pacific Coast Highway, heading southbound out of Long Beach, now into Huntington Beach, towards Newport Beach, being that they're staying on Pacific Coast Highway, the jurisdiction uh, of the California Highway Patrol is on any highway. They don't have to stay on the freeways. They're the lead agency. They're staying, but they will call. They'll make sure that Huntington Beach Police knows about this. Newport Beach Police Window knows open. about it. And there will Window be close. that multi-agency situation. Yeah, uh, Alex and I were just noticing that the passenger side front window was rolled down. Now it's rolled up. Let's talk about what we know about the suspect or suspects inside, which, Alex, we don't know a whole lot. We don't know if they're armed, but as you know, officials always assume that they're armed. And the fact that the passenger side window went down like that, you have to wonder, if there's is there a passenger, a passenger right? right? Here uh, we go. Looks someone, like maybe okay, this would be the time again. to try it. He slowed down a little bit there. We say that that threshold is 35 miles per hour, but we've seen it. We've seen that pit maneuver uh, occur okay. at speeds higher well, than that. Go. Trying like to box him in there a little in. bit, making a left box turn. Let's Our see what they, they try to do. Yeah, this, this cruiser's on him. And, They're and aggressive. Very. And, but now you're, you're going to see the driver take off again, hit the gas, just like we saw last time, continuing southbound on Pacific Coast Highway here through Orange County. And all those Orange County agencies uh, are aware of what's happening here. And what they want to do is bring this pursuit to a safe ending to a safe conclusion without anybody, any innocent pedestrian, bicyclist, or motorist out there getting injured. Here we go. It's really a cat and mouse situation because it seems like that sedan slows down a bit as well. 
I mean, when you think about a situation for a pit maneuver, a lot of this is kind of perfect, right? A pretty wide open uh, area. Threading the needle there. But now, now, now moving more into traffic. an area where that's going to be much harder to do. So that's a, that's a Toyota Camry. I have tinted windows there, four door. Here we go. Maybe yeah, trying it. Try it. Let's Rid see. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and I, I'll tell you, it does seem like the individual being pursued at this time kind of slows down and is sort of trying to play with these CHP officers here, but then oh. picks up once, uh, once it happens. Balboa Boulevard, southbound up Pacific Coast Highway, through Orange County, moderate traffic at this time. Both sides of PCH this time of day are, are typically on the moderate side. Uh, northbound side is usually a little bit heavier. We are seeing that at the very top of your screen here. So this cruise are coming up on the side here. And where it's divided, where you have that island or that K wall, which separates both north and southbound side, now getting okay, on to, uh, to Costa Mesa, Newport. This is Newport Boulevard now. Let's see what happens here. Uh, making, making that uh, tight on-ramp there. And, uh, and now uh, heading, uh, heading in, a, we say PCH in, is north and southbound there, but the, the way that the coast winds here in Southern Cal, whoa, really picking up speeds there. That was, uh, that was a dangerous move there. And that's what we're seeing here, Alex and Marla, is that at times the driver slows down a bit oh. and uh, is cautious. There's that motorcyclist, so the motorcyclist whoa. is there too. And, and as you mentioned, uh, Alex, that we don't see that very often. It does occur. Oh, no. oh what's this guy shoulder. trying to do yeah, here? Trying to pull over to the right. Don't try to be a hero ever. Please let officers do I their job. I think the guy's just trying to get out of the way. Yeah, yeah perhaps. Like, perhaps. I don't want any part of this. That's possible. That's very possible. But this is a good teachable moment always. That uh, and it looks like it may have lost its bumper. That's that's what it looks like. That Camry lost its bumper, and, and unclear if that occurred during this pursuit. Now in Costa, Costa Mesa, Mesa city limits, so we're heading northbound out of the Huntington Newport Ooh. area, and now Rush we have hour. a lot of traffic here. And and this driver is agitated, trying to get away. We've seen uh, we've seen the driver run uh, a couple of lights already, driving at very high rates of speed. And that is the initial want on this driver, that the CHP was tracking this driver, high rates of speed, lit him up, didn't pull over for whatever reason, and the pursuit was on. And it's I've, been on freeways and on surface streets now. I, I'm curious the role of the motor officer, Rick or Alex, if, uh, Rick, if you know. Uh, in covering all these pursuits all these years, I've never seen a motor officer involved. You know, it's, it's one of those situations that if they're in that place where the pursuit is occurring, and they oh, want to try to get go. some help. Yep, he, it looks like they're, yeah, okay, we gotta, we gotta look at the driver there. Uh, I look like a male, Newport Boulevard there, made a right turn onto 17th Street. Costa Mesa borders Newport Beach down there in Orange County. And this is, this is a busy area. It's the 5 o'clock hour now. Yeah. We're approaching it within a minute or so. And uh, there's a lot of action on the roadways. And this driver is doing whatever they can to evade police. Why do they run, a lot of people ask, Alex and Marla? Because yes. they're not in custody yet. Because there's still a chance that they could get away. We've seen that happen on occasion, but it's very rare. The California Highway Patrol, the lead agency yeah. on this pursuit, covering it live here on Fox 11 for you. We got our extreme nav up in Sky Fox uh, HD here, covering this all for you in Orange County. The weather, we're watching those Santa Ana winds, and Orange County has been hit hard. So the aerial uh, law enforcement helicopters, as well as Sky Fox, being buffeted by those winds at times. But the roadways are dry. The visibility is good. But that doesn't matter because this driver is still creating a major dangerous hazard across Newport Beach and yeah. Costa Mason. And, and this is this is speculation, but an educated guess. Uh, it would not be surprising if this was not this driver's first instance with the law. Uh, that 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 they. Uh, so if you're just joining us, the time is now five o'clock, and we're officially in the uh, five o'clock news here on Fox 11. I'm Alex Michelson. Whoa. And I'm Marla Tejas here tonight for Christine Devine. And uh, we're kicking into a off. parking lot here. Oh, yes. Made a so left on 17th Street. Now precarious. doing a 180. Uh -oh. Or now uh -oh. he's going to no, turn don't around. Go that the way. other direction. He's going to get boxed in. in. He's going to box in. We're or they're going to try go? to box him in. And up Gets on through. the sidewalk uh -oh. now around the Whoa. trees. Whoa. And 
Bam! Away he goes. Okay. Well, now I'm going to double down on my prediction that no, this was this not is, the first time. He, is, he guy. is aggressive. And this was not just a speeding incident, too. There may be he, more he is, involved. Look he at this motorcycle cop. There though. could be wants. You're right, uh, Alex. Um, there's there's a lot more going on here. So we're looking at this all happening in in one of the nicer uh, communities in Southern California, uh, the expensive communities of Newport Beach and Costa Mesa. Usually pretty quiet pretty safe aren't used to things like this but we are looking at a busy and dangerous situation here uh, this driver who has weaved through traffic at time gone the wrong direction at times uh, been desperate to get away the most desperate move Marla is what we just saw a few seconds ago uh, and so far they have not been able to stop this person not been able to pit this person even though it looks like they've tried yeah so currently uh, East 17th Street and Fullerton Avenue this started in the city of Long Beach and then that was on Pacific Coast Highway PCH moved into Huntington Beach now we are in the Costa Mesa area we have a motor officer involved in this one CHP the lead agency this was all picked up in Long Beach for failing to stop and really the want is speed this driver speeding we've gotten a look at the driver Rick uh, and it doesn't appear that there is anyone else in the vehicle, but that's just from this vantage point. There very well could be, and always, officers uh, always assume that the suspect is armed, Rick. And, and I look, and you're absolutely right, and, and we've seen uh, just recently a tragic situation in Riverside County where it was a, quote, routine traffic spot stop but no traffic stop is routine. And that was because of some sort of vehicle violation. And that is where that Riverside get on the County deputy uh, lost their life. Uh, but here we have a, a lot of support. It Stuck. looks like that, that with this Camry, it does appear that both perhaps the back bumper and the front bumper off the vehicle. You see that in the front right there? Whoa. Yes. It's missing something. Mm -hmm. And on the back as well. Unclear again if that damage occurred during the pursuit. Uh, we picked this pursuit up uh, about 15 minutes ago. Still moving through uh, the Costa Mesa area, bordering Newport Beach, picking up speeds here. Our extreme nav system is on it. Whoa. Always for you. And you can see how fast this vehicle is going. This individual who's being pursued wow. by the California Highway Patrol. Now we're getting on the 55 freeway. The double nickel there. Down by John Wayne Airport here in Orange County, heading northbound Jeez. up towards what would be the 405 freeway. So lots of options, a wide open freeway, a runway there, so to speak, that this uh, driver is trying to evade the California Ohio Patrol. Yeah, Again, just a simple failure to yield, high speeds, didn't pull over. Now he's ripping down the 55 freeway at 100 miles an hour, endangering everybody on that freeway. Yeah, this looks like a NASCAR race, and it's quite something, Marla. Uh, how wide open this freeway is at five o'clock at night as well. Yeah, a lot, uh, a lot different than on those surface streets. And so that's right when we see, look at 110 miles per hour, just as Rick said, ripping through the 55 South right now. And now we talk about strategy and this completely changes everything because obviously a pit maneuver is not an option. Spike strips are, but that's when it comes to strategizing to get ahead of the driver, Rick, and I know you have something to say. No, just to put this into perspective, the location. So it's the 55 North coming out of Costa Mesa and Newport Beach. He'll be uh, hitting the 73 toll road. That would be an option. I am seeing a little bit more in the way of traffic on the 55 North as you approach the 405 by South Coast Plaza. Here we go, making an exit on the 55. There's the 405 he, option I just spoke of. Is so we'll see what happens here. Is he willing to pay the toll? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there what, you go. Unlikely. Uh, and, and, that is the and, fastest way to go. And yeah. we talk about we talk about uh, all of those infractions, those vehicle infractions, the initial speed, all of the lights that he ran through. Yes, the California Highway Patrol can log all of those, keep track of them, and list all of those once they do. And hopefully they will bring this guy into custody without anybody else, if anybody was harmed during this pursuit. Because we do see some damage, unclear, no confirmation. Mm. that the front and back bumper were lost during this pursuit. Uh, but that vehicle does not look like it's in good shape in, in terms of the front or back. But it's, it, the, it has not been compromised in terms of its ability to move because we've seen it move in excess of 100 miles an hour thanks to our extreme nav system. Took the 73. There you go, Alex. He's on the toll road there. Yeah. So, in, so in, in, in addition to the red light uh, issues, they'll have to deal with the tolls later on as there well. There you go. Yeah. That's right. Uh, he's going to be lit up uh, by those sensors as he passes uh, underneath them. 73 here. 
uh, making uh, making his way uh, or her way. It appeared that it was a male from uh, from mm -hmm. our vantage point here. This is down near John Wayne Airport, near the South Coast uh, Plaza here in the heart of Orange County, behind the orange curtain, as they uh, as they like to say in the past here. And again, this is just the CHP attempting to pull this driver over for. Uh, high rates of speed, didn't pull over, and the pursuit was on here. 405 freeway now, so from the 73 onto the 405, into the carpool lanes there. There are a lot of carpool lanes. We'll see uh, if that's the, the route uh, he chooses to take, and we're assuming it is a male. Unclear uh, if there's, there's another, a new CHP unit that is trailing. That's an Orange County unit there from the California Highway Patrol. We were in L.A. County when this pursuit started, Alex and Marla. Yeah, so when this uh, pursuit was called in, that was almost an hour ago at 4.20 in the city of Long Beach on PCH, on the picturesque PCH, as Alex pointed out, and then that driver took us through Huntington Beach, and now here we are for... South Coast Drive. South Coast Drive. South Coast yeah. Plaza. You all know it, that, uh, that, that mall, one of the uh, most popular malls down there in Orange County, right yeah. off the 405 freeway. Lots of traffic needling mm. their way through yeah. here. They've got good taste in terms of locations. Yeah, I mean, some of the more go. beautiful spots in Southern California we're getting a tour of uh, right now as we approach sunset here in Southern and, California. But look at this desperation and look what the, getting those off vehicles the freeway. Are, are wow. Doing, yep, and those vehicles are doing exactly what they should be. Slowly pull over to the right if you can safely. Don't try to be a hero. Don't try to box uh, the vehicle in in any way. You don't know what you're dealing with. This uh, individual, you have to assume armed, Obviously not in a good frame of mind, could be under the influence, mm. running from the police here, doing whatever they can to get away from the police, front and back end damage to this vehicle. Unclear again if that's the result of this pursuit, if it happened earlier before we picked it up. But uh, bottom line is this driver is driving recklessly here down in Orange County. Exiting the freeway, Harbor Boulevard was the exit there from the 405 freeway. I'm looking here because on various uh, angles, I was seeing if it was paper plates on this vehicle. Uh, yeah, good point, because it, they did appear to have that, that, that white uh, border there. It's, it's possible. We'll see. Again, it's a four-door Camry, uh, and uh, right across this intersection, red light, red mm. light right there you could see, because all the traffic uh, in the direction that they were headed uh, was halted there. Harbor Boulevard here continuing on South Harbor Boulevard, a wide open street here. Now making a hard left, a uh -oh. 180. Yeah, Watch made out. that tight. Oh, you tried the pit oh, maneuver oh, there. Oh. Just missed. He hit him. He yeah, got him. He did. But, uh, he the pit contact. maneuver didn't work, but that was a good time to do it, especially when he was making that hard 180 there. Yeah, and we saw, for those just joining us perhaps, we've seen some aggressive. Uh, pursuit driving. Here we go. We're going to try it again. It looks officers. like he's, here he's go. done. This guy's going to go, hey, oh, we're here done we here. We're done. Whoa. Yeah. That's right. There we go. And and we got him. We pitted him here, but is the vehicle, let's, this gets now. very Boxed dangerous in. here. Now we're going to try to swing is he back, go box him in on the back so we can't do a little, you know, turnaround here. Now, this is where it gets dangerous. The, the officers the are giving this motorist clear instructions. This is very important as we watch this. Law enforcement helicopter down in the dirt there at about four or 500 feet. Canine unit on the scene there as well, which is great. Those are officers. That dog is an officer that is trained, that puts themselves into danger just mm -hmm. like uh, the officers do. Now, what's happening here? They're giving the driver clear instructions to oh, get out, hands up. In. It looks like we're seeing some oh. hands. It looks like perhaps we're seeing some hands there through the windshield. We, we, we've seen this before, though, where the driver has literally driven off. Yeah, they could go. Oh, yeah, they back up, go, and it looks they like could they could go in reverse. They could, yeah, just look, a little yeah. back up into that little driveway there, and then another right turn. Okay, looks like they are. Oh, they are. Yep, they're, they're, they're going open. to abide by the police's and uh, the California High Patrol's command here. And hands that, out, that hands looks, clearly visible. Canine unit standing by. There's the left hand. This guy does not want and that And it is a male, as we suspected, yeah. doing what they're told here. And then they'll be told to lay flat on the, flat on the pavement. Looks like this seatbelt's still kind of strapped around his left arm there. So he's yeah. trying to free himself from there. Now he's free from there. He's doing exactly what he's been told. Walk backwards. Canine is, is very agitated there. And down on his knees, 
flat, and then the lead officer will come up, will pat uh, the, this individual down, make sure that they are, they do not have any weapons on them, and we'll take them into custody. Then what we'll see is they'll clear that vehicle and just make sure that there's nobody else inside that vehicle. All right, suspect in custody, cuffed, thankfully. Uh, again, it's unclear, Alex and Marla, if there was anybody hit or hurt during this. It clearly looks like the front end damage uh, on that vehicle, that Camry. There is front end damage, perhaps a lost bumper in the front and in the back there. And that was, if I'm not mistaken, the Orange County vehicle that did that successful yeah. pit maneuver. Very aggressive. Yeah, that, that was the great. White, the white unit there, that, uh, the all white uh, CHP unit. Okay, so they're doing, as you said, Rick, and they're uh, clearing the vehicle or making sure that there's no one else. All right, Andrew Kraft back here with Live Now from Fox. Um, so quite an exciting uh, end there, that pit maneuver, that unmarked cruiser taking out that Toyota Camry that led police uh, on quite a lengthy pursuit there, uh, there in Orange County. Uh, this was all over that driver failing to yield, but thankfully safely now in custody. Remember, viewer discretion is all adv always uh, advised during those police chases. We thank our team at Fox 11 in Los Angeles.